Corey, it's been about 48 hours since this shooting and these families are still wondering why. Right now, investigators tell me they still don't have a clear motive in this case, but understand this was a shooting that left two women critically hurt and one family without a wife and mother. I just remember seeing her for the last time Monday. You know, she kissed me, I kissed her, we, she told me she loved me, I told her I love you too. That was the last conversation George Penton says he had with his wife Kimberly. She left for a workout class with a friend Monday night. When they found out the class was canceled, they went to Applebee's. They just popped in there instead of just coming straight home. It wasn't until Tuesday morning that Penton found out his wife was killed during a shooting inside the restaurant. Her friend Keisha was critically injured, an overwhelming feeling of shock, disbelief and pain. I feel like it's a, a nightmare, you know, and I haven't woken up from it yet. Tonight, Courtney Washington faces first degree murder, among other charges. Investigators say he shot a total of three women, also leaving our Lydia Bufford, a firefighter with the Kinlock Fire Protection District in critical condition. During a press I'm conference to today, St. John Police Chief it's Robert it's Connell it's gave it's details it's on the moments leading up to the deadly rampage. The suspect then left the restaurant came back in and as he did, he brushed up against one of the waitresses. I'm not going to give the exact quote, but basically that, that things were about to get real. And at that point he turned and shot the first victim. I just want them to remember how loving she was. You know, she, she wasn't hurtful to anybody. Um, she would always help you help anybody she could. Penton says his wife was a loving mother to their two sons. The 46 year old also dedicated to the daycare she's helped run for 15 years. It's just senseless, you know, it's just a senseless crime and I just can't believe it. She always cooks for us. Give me what I need, like shoes, clothes. She's been like the best mom to me. Tonight, as this family mourns, they're begging for answers trying to wrap their heads around why. I just would let him know, hey, you took a very, very special woman away from us. And, you know, I, I don't understand why. I would just want to know why he did that. Right now, investigators tell us they are still confident the suspect did not know the victims in this case, making matters worse. That husband, George Penton, tells me his business of 20 years caught fire over the weekend is completely destroyed. More on the emotional toll all of this is taking on him and how you can help coming up tonight on News 4 at 6. For now, reporting live in St. John, Emma Hogue News 4.